Hey YouTube, KK6, blah blah blah. So I've always been a user of Yesu radios, and there's been this function in there called Arts. And I kind of had an idea what Arts was about, but I never really cared enough to go dig deeper until recently. I looked up some YouTube videos and there wasn't really a whole lot of information about it, so I figured out how to use it, and now I'm making a video to share it with you guys. So what is Arts? Basically, how it works is you have two operators that are sharing uh, a frequency, let's say uh, simplex. Um, operator 1 here and operator 2 here, they could be, uh, you know, on a search and record rescue team, they could be super whackers, who knows, whatever. But they want to be able to make sure that they're in consistent contact all the time. So what ARTS does is it sends DCS codes between two operators' radios. So if my operator here is at a base camp, and my operator here is out in a field somewhere, the, the ART system will pull between the two operators, letting them know that they're in contact, that they have a good link. Now the DCS is a, a further development from the CTCSS system, which uses a slow speed binary data stream that's passed as long as a sub-audible -audi data, um, along with the transmission. And it consists of a 23-bit word telegram, which is sent uh, repeatedly on the channel at 134 bits, I think, per second. Um, and with these DCS codes, you get about 100 of them, so you can actually have quite a big system set up here if, if you really want to. Um, now the ART system pulls the, uh, each radio about 25 seconds and if uh, my operator 1 radio um, gets uh, one of these DCS codes, it'll say in range. Uh, if this guy goes behind a mountain, right, um, and it, its radio sends the pull back to the base camp over here, it'll say out of range. So that's really all it does. Let's set up some radios and uh, do some some uh, some some actual uh, demonstration of how this works. All right, so I have here my Yesu VX3, which I really like. Uh, they just discontinued it. Oh well. Uh, so anyways, first thing we got to do is turn it on. Doing a long press. And using the VFO knob, we got to set it to a frequency frequency we want to use. Uh, so I'm just going to go to uh, 2 meter simplex here. Okay. Now we need to make sure that the DCS tone um, is set to something we know. And to do that, we press the TXPO button. It's a, it's a long press, which gets us into the function menu. And to set the DCS code, um, it's in uh, menu item number 24, uh, DCS CD. We just press TXPO a short time, uh, and then we have all of our codes here. I'm going to set this radio to be uh, 023. Uh, the next thing we need to do is set the arts beep, which basically, there's actually a few different um, options here. This is under menu item 16, no, I'm sorry, um, 6. So the arts beep will beep, the, the radio will actually beep at you every time it gets a pull from the other radio, um, uh, or whenever it's come in range after being out of range, or you can turn it off, say, hey, I never want to listen to a beep. It'll actually show me on the display here if I'm in range or not. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to set it to always. Um, the next thing we need to do is set the polling time on this radio. And this one has a polling time of 25 seconds or 15 seconds. I'm going to set it to 25. And because we're amateurs, we need to set the, the radios to ID themselves. Now these will ID in CW, your call sign. So on the VX3, we need to go to menu item 19 uh, to set the, the, the CW ID to on. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to press this. And I'm already set to on. Now to set the call sign on this radio, I just press the um, the VFO manual button, and I can go and put whatever call sign I want want in. 
Mine's already set up, so I'm not going to deal with it right now. So that's all we got to do in the back end. Uh, and to get out of here, we just press the TXPO button one more time. Now to actually enable the system, we press the, um, it's this arts button, uh, which is labeled over here, but it's actually the, um, uh, what is this called, the, the, the Yesu um, Wires X button, which I still have no clue what that's for. I'm just going to do a long press. And you can see, you can see hopefully on the display, it says out of range and uh, up here in the corner, uh, the DCS tone has gone on. So in about 20 seconds, it should start squirting out DCS tones. And, uh, um, and after about a while, it should also squirt out my call sign and CW on the same frequency. So there it goes, it's transmitting a DCS tone. Now if I had another radio set up to receive that, it would say in range. Let's set up another radio right now. I'm going to leave this in the background. All right, I have a, a Yesu uh, 817 here, which also has the arts feature. Let's go ahead and set this up. So the first thing we got to do, obviously, is turn it on. And I'm already set up for uh, two meter FM mode here, but if you're not, obviously, you just need to move your bands up and down until you get to the right spot. Uh, so first thing we got to do again is set up the DCS tone on this radio. To do that, we'll press the function key, long press. That brings you back into the main setup menu. And on this radio, uh, the DCS tone is menu item 23. Um, and I just use the VFO knob to set my, my tone, uh, my code here. So uh, I'm setting my code to 023, which matches my little baby Yesu back here. Okay, next we need to do is set up the arts beep, uh, which is number 9. And it's already set for all, meaning that it's gonna it's gonna beep at me every time this radio pulls at me. Okay. I also have an off uh, option, which is you know it, it won't do anything, but all's where we want to be. Okay. Uh, the next one we need to do is set up our CWID, which is on number menu item 18, and I'm already set to on. This needs to be on because we have to ID every 10 minutes as amateurs in North America. Uh, next thing we got to do is put our call sign in, which is 23, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 31. All right, there's my call sign. If I wanted to change it, I could just, um, I, I think I press and hold function and then it changes it. But I'm not going to do this because uh, I don't want to change it. It's a pain in the ass. All right, so once that's set up, uh, we just need to turn on the actual art system. Uh, and to do that is a short press of the function key. And I use my selector knob over here to find the menu which says arts. Right? So there it is. And I just press the C key to turn it on. And you can see on here it now says out of range. So what's going to happen is, as you can see, the VX3 pinged with its uh, ID and it's sent over to the, the 817. And it, the 817 is going to pull back and the VX3 will say in range any minute now. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's actually uh, sending my call sign in CW. That's all it does, folks. Well, I hope this video was useful for you guys. I'm going to finish my beer and uh, go on a bike ride. Thanks for watching.